Minute Mate Time! Hey! It's Minute Mate Time! Come on! <laughs> and here's what we're going to make today. A spoon alien! It's out of this world! <clears throat> Actually, it's made out of a plastic spoon. Yeah! <laughs> and to make it, you will need... Some green stickers, a green plastic spoon, a green pipe cleaner, a black pen, a glue stick, and we'll also need some googly eyes and some air drying clay, which you can get from an art and craft shop. I'll be back before you can say, oh, he's gone to the shop again. <coughs> I've got them. Here are my googly eyes and I've got some air drying clay and it's been rolled into two small balls like that and a slightly larger sausage shape. There we go. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Oh, well, thank you, Toki. I think I can do it, although I will have to be very quick. Don't worry, though. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Right, get the green plastic spoon and the googly eyes and we're going to glue them on to the back of the spoon like this. There's one. There's one googly eye. Let's get the other one. There we go. Right, two googly eyes. Now let's get a pen and draw a nose like that and a mouth. Now let's give him ears with the stickers. There's one alien ear. Let's put another alien ear in. Halfway there! Halfway already! There we go, he's looking good. Now we're going to get the green pipe cleaner and wrap it around the spoon to give him arms. There's one arm, there's another arm like that. And now let's put these balls of clay onto the ends. These are going to be the hands. There we go, there's one and there's the other one. And now if we get this sausage of clay and squeeze it into feet, we can stick in a spoon alien. I did it! Only just... <laughs> yes, that was quite close, actually. But if you've got more than a minute, you can wait for the clay to dry and then paint your alien a nice alien colour, like green. In fact, you could make a whole family of aliens. How about a silver alien made with a plastic silver spoon and a glittery pipe cleaner? Or even a tiny alien made by carefully cutting a plastic spoon in half. Spoon aliens made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Stick two googly eyes to the back of your spoon. Draw on a nose and a mouth. Add stickers for ears and wrap a pipe cleaner around the spoon to make arms. Then press two small lumps of clay to the ends of the pipe cleaner for hands. And finally, stand the spoon up in a lump of clay and you've made your spoon alien. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? <laughs> Minute make time! Ho oh, ho! It's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. It's a great game that looks like an ice cream cone. Let's give it a go. The idea being that you catch the ice cream in the cone. <laughs> and now to make this, you will need a pair of scissors, a brush, some gloopy PVA glue, some sticky tape, a sponge ball, a circle and a square of tissue paper and half a circle shape of paper or card. Oh, and not forgetting a little bit of wool. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Oh, well, I think I can do it, Toki. I will have to be very quick, though. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Let's get our half circle of brown paper or card and make it into a cone shape like that. I'm going to stick it with some sticky tape. Yeah, that's in position. There's the cone. Now let's make the ice cream. That's the sponge ball. But we also need the circle of tissue paper. I'm just going to trim around the edges here to make it into a droopy, drippy looking sauce. 
There we go. Be careful! Round and round. I'm being careful, Toki, don't you worry. There we go. Let's get some gloopy glue on our ball now. There we go, on the top there. Put plenty on. And then stick our sauce on the top. There we go. Then let's scrunch up the red piece of tissue paper. That's going to be a cherry on the top. There we go, there's the cherry. And then let's get the wool. Stick that inside the cone, like that. Stick the wool to the ball. And then you're ready to play. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> yes, that was close. But it makes a game that looks good enough to eat. Can I eat it? No, you can't, Toki. This isn't for eating. It's for playing with. So let's have a game. Here we go. Ho-ho! <laughs> oh, I did it! And if you've got more than a minute, you could try some other ideas. Ooh! How about a mint ice cream with painted chocolate drops and a pom-pom chocolate on top? Ooh! Or you could even make it into a flower by adding some paper petals around the cone. Fantastic games made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Roll half a circle of brown paper or card into a cone shape and stick it together. Trim the pink tissue paper circle into a wobbly sauce shape and then glue it onto the sponge ball. Scrunch up the red tissue paper and glue it on top for the cherry. Tape one end of the wall to the cone and the other to the sponge ball. And your ice cream cone game is finished! Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! Great! It's minute make time! Here's what we're going to make today. A pipe cleaner mouse! Say cheese, Mr Mouse! That's how mice say cheese. Honest. And to make a pipe cleaner mouse, you will need... A pair of scissors, a pencil, a pink pipe cleaner, three white pipe cleaners, and some glue. Oh, we'll also need some googly eyes, and you can get those from an art and craft shop. Wait right there. I've got them. Yes, here are my googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? You're having a laugh. Really, Toki? Well, I think I can do it. I'll have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Stop the clock! Here we go. Let's get the pink pipe cleaner and very carefully snip it in half like that. Then we're going to bend this half up like that to make a nose. Now we need a white pipe cleaner and we're going to wrap it around the pencil like this. There we go. If you slide it off, this is going to be the body of our mouse. There we go. That goes up to the nose. Then with this other pink piece here, we're going to fold it into ear shapes. There we go, there's one ear. And there's the other ear. And we can pop that up and squeeze it into position. There we go. Our mouse has got two ears. Now we need to get these other two white pipe cleaners and wrap them around the pencil. Foster! There's one. Foster! And there's the other one. Wrap it round. This is the rest of the mouse's body. And then slide that off and slide it onto our mouse like that. Curl the tail up. And then we need to stick on two eyes. One bit of glue there, one bit of glue there. There's one eye. And there is the other eye. I've done it! Only just! That was close. And I made a little mouse in a minute! <laughs> and if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of pipe cleaner animals. Try making a pipe cleaner lion. This one's got long legs and loops for feet. Or how about this stripy caterpillar? It's got lots of small pipe cleaners for legs. A pipe cleaner creature made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take a pink pipe cleaner and bend the end to make a mouse nose. 
Twist the white pipe cleaner around a pencil. This makes the mouse's head. Slide it onto the pink pipe cleaner, all the way up to the nose. Twist another pink pipe cleaner into the shape of two ears and attach them to the head. Twist and attach two more white pipe cleaners to make the mouse's body. And finally, add two googly eyes to complete your pipe cleaner mouse. Why don't you try making it in a minute? It's Minute Maid time! Come on! Here's what we're going to make today. A wobbly bug. It's a bug that's wobbly. I'm wibbly wobbly. And to make one, you will need a glue stick, a pipe cleaner, two pom-poms, that's one big and one small, and we'll also need some air drying clay, some googly eyes, and half of a plastic egg. Now you can get these things from a toy shop or an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. Wait there. <coughs> I've got them. Here we go. Let's have a look what we've got. One googly eye. There's two. And there's the ball of air drying clay. And also, Here's a plastic egg which splits into two halves. Now I'm going to use this half here, which has got a rounded bottom. Now you don't just have to use a plastic egg. Oh no, there are lots of different plastic containers that you can use. Just make sure they split into two halves. But do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Oh, well I think I can do it, Toki. I'll have to move quickly though, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Stop the clock! Here we go. Let's get our ball of air drying clay and squidge it into the bottom of our half of the egg. There we go. And then we're going to get a pipe cleaner and wrap it around our finger like that to make a spring. There we go. I'm going to spring into action, Toki. <laughs> and push the spring into the clay like that. There we go. That's looking wobbly and good. Now let's make our bug. I've got the small pom-pom here. I'm going to put plenty of glue onto it, like that, to make a nose. And then I'm going to put on the googly eyes. Here's one. There we go, one googly eye. And here's the other googly eye going on. There we go. And now I just need to stick him into the top of the spring, like this. There he goes. You've got yourself one wobbly bug. Stop the clock! Yes, and if you've got more than a minute, there are other wobbly bugs that you can make too. How about using a yellow pipe cleaner with a purple pom-pom? Or why not try making a really big wobbly bug by using a bigger pom-pom and a bigger egg? Wobbly bugs made in a minute. Why don't you try making one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Put a ball of air drying clay into the bottom of the egg. Curl a pipe cleaner around your finger to make a spring shape. Stick the pipe cleaner into the clay and then stick a nose and two googly eyes onto the pom-pom. Push the pom-pom onto the spring to finish your wobbly bug. <laughs> Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! Oh, great! It's minute make time! Here's what we're going to make today. It's an ugly rock. It's ugly, but it looks great. Just like me. <laughs> and to make an ugly rock, you will need a glue stick, a black pen, a pair of scissors, some white paper, a very small fluffy pom-pom, and a button. Now we'll also need a stone and some googly eyes. Now you can get these from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <coughs> I've got them. And here they are. There's our stone and our two 
googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Oh, well, I think I can do it, although I will have to be very quick. Don't worry, though, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Get your clean rock and glue on some googly eyes like this. There's one eye. There's another one. There, two eyes. Now let's give him some funny hair with a pom-pom. Put plenty of glue on there and then stick that on. There we go. And then a nose with a button. There we go. Oh, he needs a bit more glue on the pom-pom. Go on, stick on. There we go. Now let's make a mouth by drawing a funny one on some white paper. Halfway there! There we go, like that. Now I'm going to cut this out very carefully with some scissors. There we go. Round there like that. Round and round we go. Don't forget scissors are sharp, so you can take a bit longer with that bit if you like. Now I need to get some glue and glue it on to the mouth of my ugly rock! I did it! Only just... With time to spare, actually, Toki. And if, like me, you've got more than a minute, you could paint your ugly rock a brilliant bright colour, like this green one. Or how about trying a yellow ugly rock with a square button for its nose? Or a blue ugly rock with a bigger pom-pom for its hair? Or why not try making a bigger ugly rock with more eyes and painted spots? Ugly rocks made in a minute. They're ugly, but beautiful. Why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Glue the googly eyes onto a stone. Stick on a pom-pom for hair. And stick on a button for a nose. Draw and cut out a funny, ugly mouth and stick it onto your stone to finish your ugly rock. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! Oh, great! It's minute make time! Come on! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. Brilliant bugs on a stick. And for this, you will need a stick and some pipe cleaners that have been cut into 18 small pieces. We'll also need some air drying clay and some googly eyes. Now, you can get these from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> I've got them. Here they are. Let's have a look. We've got one large ball, one medium-sized ball, and one small ball. And we've also got six googly eyes, and they're made up of two large googly eyes, two medium-sized ones, and then two smaller ones. Great! Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Really, Toki? Well, I think I can do it, although I will have to be very quick. Don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Get your stick and then squidge on the balls of clay. That's the large one at the front, the middle-sized one in the middle, and the small one on the end like that. And then start putting in the legs. Now, that's six legs for each creature, three on each side. There we go. Let's get these in as quickly as possible. There we go. In you go. Brilliant. Three for this one. We'll oh, better squish that one down a bit more. There we go. There. Now the other side. Here we go. Three legs here. Faster, faster. Oh, I know I'm going as quick as I can, Toki. There we go. And now we need to put on the eyes. Two big eyes for the big bug. Two medium-sized eyes for the medium-sized bug. And two small eyes for the small bug. I've done it! Only just... 
Phew, that was close, wasn't it? And if you've got more than a minute, you can paint your bugs on a stick and cover them in a layer of gloopy PVA glue to make them even stronger. In fact, you can decorate your bugs however you like. These bugs have been painted in different colours and covered in glitter. Oh, very sparkly. Bugs on sticks made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Push three different sized balls of clay onto a stick. Then push short bits of pipe cleaner into the clay for the legs. Finally, stick on googly eyes to finish your bugs on a stick. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! It's minute make time! Come on! <laughs> and here's what we're going to make today. A slot plane! <laughs> Sorry, I was being a bit silly there, wasn't I? Or some might say... Plain silly. <laughs> no? Oh, OK. Well, to make a slot plane, you will need... A pair of scissors, a glue stick, a black pen, a triangle of white card, a sausage shape of white card and a large rectangle of white card. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Oh, I see. Well, I think I can do it, but I will have to be very quick. Don't worry, though, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Stop the clock! Let's go! Let's get our triangle and our sausage shape of white card. And if we glue the triangle on the end, that will make a good fin for our aeroplane. There we go. Now I'm going to turn it over and fold it in half like that and then make a snip very carefully along this folded edge. That's going to make a slot. Now if we open that up, we can make ourselves a wing by drawing a wing shape on this rectangular piece of card there. Now I'm going to get a pair of scissors and cut this wing shape out very carefully. Be careful! Oh, I'm being careful, Toki, don't you worry. Here comes the wing. There we go. Right now, hopefully, our wing will slot into our plane. Let's have a look. Yes, it does. That looks great. OK, now I'm going to get my black pen and draw on a window at the front and then windows all the way along. There's one there, one there, one there and one there. I've done it! Stop the clock! <laughs> Phew! That was close. But if you've got more than a minute, you can always tape on a piece of string and ask someone to hang it up for you. Hee <laughs> hee! Plus, there are lots of other designs that you can try too. What about a stunt plane made with red card and a pointy body? Or even a cartoon-style jet with a big round body and short round wings? Slot planes! Made in a minute! Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. To make a slot plane, glue the triangle to one end of the oval card. Draw a wing shape on the bottom edge of your card and cut it out. Fold the plane in half. Make a small snip and slot the wings through the middle. Draw windows at the front and down the sides of your slot plane. And then ask someone to hang it up. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! Oh! It's minute make time! Come on, everyone! Here's what we're making today. A flying saucer from outer space! <clears throat> yes, and to make a flying saucer, you will need some sticky tape, some glue, a brush, a fluffy pom-pom, a paper bowl, 
a paper plate, a clear plastic tub and a piece of wool. We'll also need some googly eyes and you can get those from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. I've got them. Here are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Well, my feathered friend, we're about to find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Right, let's get our bowl and put on lots of gloopy PVA glue. We're going to put all around the edge here. We're going to put on plenty, because that's going to help us stick it to our paper plate. Here we go, we're going to turn the bowl upside down like that and then stick it on. That's going to make our spaceship. Now we get our pom-pom, dip that in the glue as well and then glue that on top and then we need to get our googly eyes and stick those on. Now our alien's going to have three eyes. There's one, there's two Four and stuff. here's the third alien eye. Oh, I've got to hurry up. There we go, there's his third eye, stick that down a bit more. Now get some glue on this. This is our tub, that goes on top. And then we stick the bit of wool on top of that. I've done it! Nice alien! That was close, but I made a flying saucer in a minute. And if you've got more than a minute, you can paint and decorate your flying saucer however you like. You could paint it silver, add coloured stickers and make it stand out with a black pen. Or why not make a really big flying saucer for lots of aliens using a bigger plate and a bigger bowl? A flying saucer made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Glue round the edge of a paper bowl and stick it to a paper plate. Glue on a pom-pom and stick on googly eyes. Then glue a plastic tub on top of your pom-pom. And finally tape wool to the top of the tub to complete your flying saucer. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute make time! Oh, great! It's minute make time. Come on. Here's what we're going to make today. A glittery box. Perfect for keeping all your bits and pieces inside. Now, to make a glittery box, you will need a round box with a lid like this, a brush, some glitter, and a special gloopy mixture made from half paint and half gloopy glue. You'll also need some shiny gems and some sparkly stars, which you can get from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <coughs> I've got them. Here they are. Our shiny gem and our sparkly stars. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can do it, although I will have to be very quick. Don't worry, though, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Right, get an old tray or a mat, put your round box in the middle and the gloopy mixture needs to completely cover it like this. Here we go, let's cover the whole thing. You can use whatever colour you like, obviously. Well, I think blue will look rather good. That's it, around we go. I get a bit more on the brush. Here we are. It's messy, this, but it's lots of fun. Get a move on! There we go. Yeah, that's looking good. Right, now I can put on the shiny gem in the middle and now the stars. Now, of course, these will stick because there's gloopy glue in our mixture. There we go. Put that one down there as well. Now, as a finishing touch, let's get some glitter and sprinkle it all over like that. Put some around the side as well. And some around there. Give it a little bit of a shake. And you can just roll the edge in it. And I've done it! Only just 
Yes, but if you've got more than a minute, why not try some other ideas? How about a yoghurt pot covered in blue glitter and silver gems? You can even make a really big glittery box with lots of gems and shiny stickers on it. Great glittery boxes made in a minute. Why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Cover the box with a mixture of paint and gloopy glue. Place on shiny gems and stars and sprinkle on glitter to finish your fantastic glittery box. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Oh, great! It's Minute Make Time! <laughs> and here's what we're going to make today. A clacker drum! It's great fun, look! <laughs> and to make one, you will need some sticky tape, a pencil, an empty cheese box. Now, you need one with a lid, like that. A piece of string. Now, that's got to be twice the length of your cheese box. You need a ball of sticky tack and two large beads. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! I can't believe you're saying that, Toki. I think I could do it, although I will have to move very quickly. Don't worry, though, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Start the clock! Let's go! Right, let's get our cheese box and a pencil and very carefully push through to make a hole with the pencil. Then get our ball of sticky tack and squidge it in place so the pencil stays firm. Then let's put the lid back on like that and lay our string on top. We can stick that into position with some sticky tape right across the middle. There we go. Now let's get one of our beads and feed it onto one end. There we go. And then tie a knot. Here we are. Right, now let's do the same on the other side. There's the other bead, like this, and let's feed it on here. Through it goes, like that. Go on, through you go. There we are, and let's tie a knot on this end as well. And once I've done that... Get a move on! I'm going as fast as I can, Toki! There's the other knot, and I have done it! Woo! Only just! <laughs> yes, and if you've got more than a minute, you can decorate your clacker drum. Look at this one here. It's got a circle of paper on each side. In fact, you can make all sorts of clacker drums in the same way. Ooh! This one's painted with a swirly pattern. Ho oh ho! And look at this brightly coloured clacker drum with lots of beads. Clacker drums made in a minute. Why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Push a hole in the side of a cheese box with a pencil and hold it steady with sticky tack. Put the lid back on and tape the string across the middle. Tie a bead to both ends of the string to finish your clacker drum. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! Great! It's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. A lolly stick bookmark. It looks great and it also slides on to your favourite page like this, so it's easy to find. Fantastic! Now, to make one of these, you will need a black pen, a pair of scissors, two lolly sticks, a glue stick, three pieces of craft foam and some sticky tape. Now, do you think it's possible to make this? In just one minute? No way! Well, fancy you saying that, Toki. I think I can do it, although I will have to be very quick. 
Don't worry, though, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Let's get our pink and yellow craft foam and draw an ice cream. So that's made up of a cone shape like that. And, of course, a big blob of ice cream. There we go. Let's very carefully cut those out. Be careful! I'm being careful, Toki. Don't you worry. There we go. Oh, I like ice cream. Yeah, I like ice cream as well, Toki, but I haven't really got time to talk about that at the moment. There we go. Now, I'm also going to cut out a small circle of red foam. Now, that's going to be the cherry on the top. There we go. Right, let's get some sticky tape and our two lolly sticks. And I'm going to stick those lolly sticks together like that at the top. Then let's get some glue, put some glue on there. And that's going to be our cone position. Then some glue on there. That's going to be the ice cream, like that. And then that's going to be the cherry on the top. And some detail to the cone. I've done it! That was close. Yes, that was a bit close, wasn't it? But now I can put my bookmark into my book by opening it up like that and then sliding it onto a favourite page. Very nice indeed. Fantastic! And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of bookmarks. <laughs> like this panda made with white craft foam. Or how about this wiggly bookworm made with peach-coloured craft foam? Lolly stick bookmarks made in a minute! Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Draw an ice cream on the craft foam and carefully cut it out. Tape the ends of the two lolly sticks together. Then glue the craft foam pieces to the taped ends of the lolly sticks to finish your lolly stick bookmark. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! Hey, it's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. A cup nose! Oh, <laughs> and I knows this is going to be a good make because it looks like a dog's nose. <laughs> now, to make this, you will need a pair of scissors, a sharp pencil, a black pen, two pieces of wool, a ball of modelling clay, a fluffy pom-pom, a paper cup, some card and a glue stick. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can do it, but I'm going to have to move very, very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Get the paper cup and a ball of modelling clay and a sharp pencil and make a hole either side like that. There's one hole. Be careful! I'm being careful, don't you worry, Toki. And a hole on the other side like that. And then we're going to get our pieces of wool and poke those through. One through that side like that. Come on, through you go. There we go. That's it. And I'm going to tie a knot here like that. That's on one side, and then tie a knot on the other side. Halfway there! Halfway already? Goodness me! Just tie a knot here. There we go. Right, now get some glue, put that on top, and put the pom-pom on top there. There, that's that done. Now we're going to draw a tongue on a piece of card, like that, and then very carefully cut it out. Oh, got to be quick. There we go, round we go. And then I can glue this on to our dog cup. I did it! Only just. But if you've got more than a minute, you can paint and decorate your cup nose however you like. Oh, I painted this one in brown just like a dog's nose. Oh, and look at this one here. It's painted like a stripy tiger's nose. Ooh. Or how about a mouse with whiskers and a pink nose? Ooh. Cup noses made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. 
carefully make two holes in the sides of a paper cup with a pencil, push wool through the holes and tie a knot, glue a pom-pom onto the top of the cup, draw a tongue on red paper, cut it out and stick it onto the cup, and your paper cup nose is ready. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? <laughs> Minute mate time! Oh, great! It's minute mate time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. A toothbrush holder whale. And to make it, we'll need a plastic knife, an old toothbrush, and we'll also need some air drying clay and some googly eyes. Now, we can get these from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> I've got them! <laughs> Here they are. Googly eyes and our air drying clay rolled into two small balls and one big one. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can do it, although I will have to be very quick. Don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Get the big ball of clay and just flatten the bottom by pushing it like that. Then, with your fingers, squeeze out a tail shape. That's it. Like this. There we are. Very nice indeed. Now, if I turn it round, we can give our whale a face. And we do that very carefully with a plastic knife. That gives the whale a nice smile. Give him two eyes. There's one eye there, and there's the second eye going on. There it is, right! Let's get the two small balls of clay, and we're going to push them into the side of the whale's body like that, and flatten them slightly. That gives him fins. And then if we get a toothbrush and stick it in the middle, you've got yourself a toothbrush holder whale! Stop the clock! What a fantastic toothbrush holder! And if you've got more than a minute, you can paint it a nice bright colour, like this blue one here. In fact, you can make all sorts of toothbrush holders. Like this hedgehog. It's made out of a pointy ball of clay, and it's got lots of toothbrushes for spikes. Or how about a spiky caterpillar made out of five balls of clay? A toothbrush holder whale made in a minute. Why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Flatten the bottom of the large ball of clay. Make a tail. Add a smile with a plastic knife. Add the googly eyes. Stick on the small balls of clay to make fins. And finally, push in your toothbrush to make your toothbrush hold a whale. Lovely. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute mate time! It's minute mate time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. An easy tambourine. <laughs> and to make one of these, you will need an empty sweet tube, a glue stick, three pieces of pipe cleaner, a strip of card, and three pet balls that you can get from a pet shop. Now, do you think it's possible to make this? In just one minute? No way! Oh, really, Toki? Well, I think I can do it, although I will have to be very quick. Don't worry, though. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! OK, let's get our three pet balls and our three pieces of pipe cleaner, and we're going to feed the pieces of pipe cleaner through the balls like that. There's one. And let's do another one. There it goes through. And then the last piece of pipe cleaner goes through this pet ball. Now let's get our strip of card and if we lay it out, we're going to put one at the top here first. Now I'm going to wrap the pieces of pipe cleaner around. There we go, like that, so it's in place. Then 
I'm going to put one in the middle. There we are. Wrapping that round again so it's nice and tight. It's in position. And last but not least, I'm going to put one at the bottom. Faster, faster. I'm going as quick as I can, Toki. Right, let's make sure they're all in position. I think they are. Yes. Right, let's get our sweet tube and put some glue on both ends. That's that end and that end there. Oh, I better hurry up. And if we stick our strip there and there, we can make some music with our tambourine. Only just. Not bad, eh? And if you've got more than a minute, you could decorate the handle by painting it. Nice! You could even add some stickers to decorate it. Ooh! Or why not try using a bigger sweet tube and lots more balls? Hey! An easy tambourine made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Feed the pipe cleaner pieces through the pet balls. Wrap the ends of the pipe cleaners around the card and space them out like this. Finally, stick the card to the tube and your easy tambourine is complete. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! Hey, hey, hey! It's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. A beautiful badge card. And to make a badge card, you will need a circle of card, a peg, a rectangle of card, some glue, a pair of scissors, some glitter and some coloured stickers. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Really, Toki? Well, I think I can do it. I will have to be quick, though, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute. Stop the clock. There we go. Right, let's get our circle of card and glue it onto our peg. Let's put plenty of glue on. There we go. And then stick it on there like that. Now, Toki, pick a number. Number one. Number one. Right, OK, I'm going to bring a tray in and then draw a number one with my gloopy glue pot. There we go. There's a number one. And then get some glitter. And put glitter all over like that. There we go. And shake it all over. And then if I shake it off, only the number one will stay. Halfway. Halfway. Goodness me. Right. I better get this rectangle of card and fold it in half like that. And then make two snips at the top here and here. And I'm going to fold that strip back. And that's going to help us pin on our badge. That's looking great. Now I can just stick on some stickers to the side like that and try and get as many as I can on. There we go. I think I can get one more on up there. I did it. That was close. That was close, Toki. You're right. But I made the badge card. And the best thing about it is that once you've sent it to someone, they can wear the badge as well. <laughs> and if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of badge cards. <laughs> this one has a different number. And this one is a really big badge card. Badge cards made in a minute. Why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Stick the circle of card to the peg. Write a number in glue on the card. Cover it with glitter and shake it off to reveal a glittery number. Fold the rectangle of card in half and cut two slits to make a flap. Fold it back to make a slot. Slide the peg into the slot and add some stickers to finish your badge card. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! Oh, it's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. A super sock creature. To make a sock creature, you will need a long 
colourful sock, a pair of scissors, a black pen, some white stickers and an old empty plastic bottle. Now you might want to get an adult to help you find one of these and clean it out. Now do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Put a sock in it, Toki! <laughs> I'm just kidding, you can cheer me on! And you can cheer me on too. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Start the sock! Yes, <laughs> very funny. Right, let's get our bottle and then our long sock and start rolling it up. There we go, up it goes as quick as we can. Now, when it's all rolled up, we're going to feed it very carefully onto the bottle like that. There we go. Brill, there it is. Great. There we go. Now, if we pull the toe out, we can make snips very carefully. In the end, there's one. There's two. Now, these are going to be the hair. Halfway! There's another bit there. Another snip. Fantastic. And now I'm going to tie these two end ones like this. Round and round they go. Brilliant. That makes the hair and that heel bit makes his mouth. Now, if I get two white stickers and draw dots on them, these are going to be the eyes. Let's stick them on. There's one eye and there's the other eye. There, I've done it! Only just! And if you've got more than a minute, you can try different coloured sock creatures with different socks. Look at this one here. It's got different coloured stripes. Or you could use a small sock and a small bottle to make a little sock creature. Sock creatures made in a minute. Why don't you try making one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Slide a sock over a bottle. Cut the top of the sock into strips and then tie them together. Give it eyes using white stickers with black dots on and your crazy sock creature is finished. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute make time! Ooh, it's minute make time! Come on! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. A pencil bug! Oh, Mr Pencil Bug, I'm woolly pleased to see you. <laughs> now, to make one of these, you will need some sticky tack, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a pencil, a short piece of wool, and a very long piece of wool. Now, we'll also need some googly eyes. Now, you can get these from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <coughs> I've got them. Here they are. Our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this? In just one minute. No way! Oh, well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick, though. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Stop the clock! Here we go. Get the long piece of wool and start wrapping it around your hand like this. Round and round it goes. And then carefully slide it off your hand. Get the small piece of wool and then tie it in the middle like that. There we go. Tie it nice and tight. And then get a pair of scissors and very carefully cut through the loops there on both sides. There's one side and here's the other side now. There we go, that gives us a fluffy bug. Now we need to glue on these googly eyes like this. There's one googly eye. There's the other googly eye. And then if we get our sticky tack on the end of our pencil, there it is, we can push it on to our pencil bug! Phew! I made it! Only just! <laughs> yes! And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of pencil bugs. How about a brilliant blue one? Or even this big one made out of multicoloured wool. Pencil bugs made in a minute. Why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. 
Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Wrap a long piece of wool around your hand and carefully take it off. Tie a smaller piece of wool around the middle of it. Cut the loops of wool around the edges and glue on googly eyes. Stick it on top of the pencil with sticky tack to complete your woolly pencil bug. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? <laughs> Minute make time! It's minute make time! Come on! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today! A bubble bag! Great for keeping all your bits and pieces inside. Very nice. And to make one of these, you will need... a pair of scissors, a glue stick, some circles of felt, a long shoelace, a large rectangle of felt, a hole punch and a bubble envelope. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can do it, Toki, although I will have to be very quick. Don't worry, though, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Right, let's get our bubble envelope and very carefully, with some scissors, trim off this top end like this. That's it, we go all the way down. There we go. And then we're going to get our hole punch and make holes at the open end here, like that. Then let's get our shoelace and feed it through the holes like this. And then we're going to tie a knot on the other end. Here we go. Let's tie a knot. You're not going to do it! Very funny, Toki. I get it. Knot, yeah, very funny. <laughs> There's our knot. OK, right, now let's put some glue on here. And we're going to put on, first of all, our rectangle of felt. On it goes. And then we're going to put our big circle on next. And then we're going to put our medium-sized circle. And then we're going to put on our small circle. And we are finished! Only just! And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of bubble bags. <laughs> this one is made with felt stripes. <laughs> and this one has a checked pattern. Bubble bags made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. First, take a bubble envelope and punch holes through the open end like this. Thread a long shoelace through the holes to make handles and tie knots in the ends. Glue on a large sheet of felt and decorate it with felt shapes to finish your bubble bag. Why don't you try making it in a minute? <laughs> Minute make time! Wow! It's minute make time! Come on! Hey! Here's what we're going to make today. A spongy card. Very nice. And to make it, you will need a rectangle-shaped piece of card, some patterned paper, some pieces of coloured kitchen sponge, some glue and a pair of scissors. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Oh, listen to that, everyone. Do you think I can do it? Great! Well, I'm going to have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Start the clock! Here we go. Let's get the red piece of rectangular shape card, fold it in half like that, and then get the pattern piece of paper. And I'm going to very carefully with my scissors cut it into a smaller rectangle. Be careful! I'm being careful, Toki, don't worry. I'm going to glue that on to the card. There we go. With a glue stick. There, that's looking good. And now get that piece of kitchen sponge and cut another rectangle shape with my scissors. Here we go, and I'm going to glue that on as well. There, that's looking really good. Now I'm going to take this yellow piece of sponge and cut out a star shape. Oh, 
Oh, Here we go, oh, round and round. There's that bit there. Oh, I'm running out of time, Toki. Do you think I'll do it? What a chance! It's there. Now, once I've cut this out, I just need to glue it on. So let's put some glue there in the middle, stick it on, and I've done it! Only just! Yes, that was close! And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of spongy cards. How about making a spongy house with a window, chimney and a door? Or this perfect birthday card with spongy birthday balloons. Spongy cards made in a minute. Why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold the card in half. Cut some patterned paper and glue it onto the card. Cut a rectangle shape out of kitchen sponge and stick that on. Then cut a star shape out of different coloured kitchen sponge and glue that on as well to finish your spongy card. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Minute make time! Oh, great! It's minute make time! Here's what we're going to make today. A crazy peg bug. So, I better make it snappy. And to make one of these, you will need a pair of scissors, a wooden peg, four pipe cleaners, some felt tip pens, some white stickers, and that's it. But do you think you can make this? In just one minute? No way! Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Start the clock! Let's go! Get the peg and your felt tip pens and start colouring in stripes. Now, you can use whatever colours you like, but I'm going to use black and orange. There we go, there's the black done. Let's do the orange. There we go. Do the other side as well. There. That's looking very good. Now let's get three of the pipe cleaners and if we hold them together and just feed them in like this, we can bend them into shape to make legs. Halfway! There. there are all the legs bent into shape. Now let's get the other pipe cleaner and we'll wind it around this end to make the antennae. There we go. Fantastic. And now we just need to add some eyes with these white stickers. There we go, there's one white sticker. And there's the other one, and we can add black dots on as well. There! I did it! Only just! And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of crazy peg bugs. How about a purple and yellow one with purple pipe cleaners for legs? Or a black and gold stripy peg bug with black pipe cleaner legs. Crazy peg bugs made in a minute. Why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Add stripes to the peg with felt tip pens. Put the pipe cleaners into the peg to make legs. Twist the pipe cleaner at the front to make antennae. Add white stickers for eyes and draw a face with a black pen to finish off your crazy peg bug. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? 